Hi, my name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm a specialist in the care of patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And I'm here to talk to you today about a recent study that was published in the journal Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics. This paper examined a particular score that we use to assess severity of Crohn's disease called the Crohn's Disease Activity Index Score. And they applied this score to a group of patients with Crohn's disease, but also to a group of patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome is a condition where the enteric nervous system is hypersensitive and it can lead to symptoms of abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. The interesting thing was in this study was that the Crohn's disease activity index scores were actually higher in the group of patients with irritable bowel syndrome compared to patients with Crohn's disease. And this highlights a couple of important issues. One, the symptoms and signs of Crohn's disease are neither sensitive nor specific, and we can't rely on symptoms alone to make treatment decisions because the symptoms, including abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, might not be due to the Crohn's disease. It might be due to other factors such as irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, bacterial overgrowth, bile salt diarrhea, etc. So the general principle is before we make major treatment decisions we need to not just rely on symptoms alone but we have to back that up with some objective evidence of inflammation in the intestine whether that's a, a CRP blood test or an endoscopy, a colonoscopy or perhaps um, an, an x-ray of the small bowel, either a small bowel follow-through or a CT or MR enterography, but some objective evidence of inflammation to tell us it's time to change the medications uh, for the patient with Crohn's disease. The second issue is that we're learning that our CDAI score is not necessarily a good score, and increasingly in clinical trials of new drugs, we're actually not just relying on that score alone, but we're also relying on either endoscopic measures or CRP levels or a measure of um, inflammation in the stool.